How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you a very cool live photos trick that until today most iPhone users still don't know about. With this live photos trick you can do something like this for example. You can turn this photo into this photo right here and trust me this is the same photo guys, it's the same picture. I just edit this picture and turned it into this one using live photos. Amazing. And you'll see in a second, because I'm going to show you in action how you can do it, you can see that with this live photos trick, you can fix many issues and problems with your photos like this one. If you took a photo of somebody and they're blinking, or if you took, for example, a photo when somebody is in an awkward position, you know, you can use live photos to pick another one of the exact same photo using another frame of that original photo and turn into another one. It's amazing. Let me show you in action. You'll understand the whole thing, all right? So, uh, first of all, what you need to do is make sure Live Photos is enabled on your iPhone. So, open up the camera app and then right there at the top right hand corner, maybe it'll be in a different position right here at the top, depending on your iPhone and your iOS version. But just look for this icon of this little circle with different layers, as you can see right here. And then make sure it's like mine. It's white and not crossed. Because if we tap on it, as you can see, it's going to turn it off, as you saw live off, and it'll be crossed. So let's tap on it again. And now live is turned on. As you can see, perfect, ready to use. So I do recommend that you turn on Live Photos to take advantage of this trick. And of course, everything Live Photos has to offer, all right? And now let me show you in action. I'm gonna open up my camera right now, take a photo of me blinking just to give you this example, and then I'm gonna edit and transform into the correct photo that I want with me with the eyes opened, all right? So let's open up the camera app and then let's flip to the front, as you guys can see. And then I'm going to point it to myself, right? As you guys can see right there, pointing it to myself. Perfect. And then I'm going to blink on purpose. All right. So I'm going to blink and take the picture. So blinking, taking the picture. And as you guys can see, that's the photo I took with me blinking. And now we're going to use live photos to fix it and choose another frame of this very same photo. It's super easy, guys. All you got to do is tap on edit right there, edit. And then since live photos is turned on, you see the live photos icon right there at the bottom, the same icon that we saw just a few seconds ago. So let's tap on live photos. And as you guys can see with live photos, it actually breaks down into a ton of different frames, like it was a little video. So you can pick the best one of the exact same photo. Again, this is just one photo, but you can choose another frame from this photo. So if you go, if we come back here, for example, you can see that in this one, I have my eyes opened, for example. So this one is what I want. So as you saw, we have a ton. So this one is the original photo. As you guys just saw, this one right here is actually the original photo with me closing my eyes. But if I come back, I can pick this one, for example, which my eyes are opened, and then I can tap on make key photo and then tap on done. And as you guys can see, I have my eyes opened right here. And then I did what I wanted to do. Just edit the photo, picking another frame from that exact same photo and fixing the issue. So that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. It helps me out so, so much. On top of that, please make sure to click on the subscribe button, a little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And last but not least, go ahead to the comment section down below and tell me what you thought about the video, the tutorial, this little trick, and my channel as a whole. I always do appreciate your feedback. So that's it. And I'll see you in my next video as usual. Bye-bye.